All right, guys, how's it going? I got a rough rider here. This has been sat on my desk for about three months, but uh, we're finally getting round to it. It's Double R Two Thousand. Let's take a look. All right, here we go. Yeah, we got a nice little, nice little dagger, and let's have a look at the sheath. It's not too bad. I mean. This is a real budget knife. I think it cost me 15 bucks. There you go. Looks like it's got a hole at the bottom there. You could string it onto something, zip tie it onto a backpack. Belt loop, boot dagger style clip here, stainless clip. Press stud, and out she comes. Nice and riveted, and it actually works pretty good for this this little thing. Let's have a, a quick measure of the entire thing. About seven inches. Alright, let's look at the blade. It's covered in my finger marks because I've been playing with it of course. And it is sharp. I've <laughs> this was a long bit of cardboard but it's getting shorter. Yeah, that's one side because it is double-edged. It's a dagger sides. Ah, so there you go. Nice green bone there. Green smooth bone. Nickel silver pins, bolster. I love the um, the quality. The quality of this is pretty amazing really. The brass liners there and it has that lock back button on there. And that's so you can turn it into a push dagger. How's that? Pop, pop. <laughs> Actually, that feels real comfortable. The, the finger grooves work extremely well. Thumb goes over the end. Now, when it's in this position, you don't have to push down the lockback release. You can just rotate it that way, and it'll close up into the fixed blade dagger position. It won't go the other way. It won't go the other way at all. It'll only go that way. So the hilt rotate up. And there's a little tiny bit of play. Little tiny. Not much. The mechanism works extremely well. I'm really amazed. We're talking a $15 knife here. I bought it purely because I like unusual knives and I like mechanisms, I like engineering type things, I, I buy odd firearms and odd knives and this this comes into that category for me. It's not a knife I would ever want to carry, although here in California we can carry daggers, dirks. I know a lot of people think we can't. Smoky Mountain knives thought we couldn't. Because they <laughs> I, had a, I had a nice big order for Smoky Mountain knives. I won't rant on too much about it. But um, order wouldn't go through after spending lots of time rewriting the address and the card number and all that. I thought, sod it, I'll give them a call in the morning. So I give them a call. And a really nice lady there at Smoky Mountain informed me. And she was nice, got no problem with her at all. She's just following their policy. They do not send daggers or switchblades to California. Apparently we're not allowed them. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's up to them. Chicago Knife Works, no problem at all. So Chicago Knife Works got a nice big order. Anyway, enough about that. Look at this thing, it's uh, beveled on both sides here. And it's not just flat, it's uh, got a nice bevel on each side. Alright, what's it got on here? It's got Rough Rider written across here, and it's got 440 razor sharp steel written there, and the model number and China written there which you can barely see when it's this way around. I like that. I'm not a fan of billboarding on knives. And they, they got it 
nice and small. Uh, so Rough Rider are getting it right on these. I don't like the big R on their bolsters of their knives, but on this they they got it right. But uh, there you go, guys. An unusual item. Um, I will have a bit of fun with this later on. Punching a pumpkin and <laughs> just to test it. But like I say, when it's in this position, you just quick flick and it's back into dagger position. So when it is in between your fingers, it can move a little to the left, not to the right, just to the left. But it's not likely to cut you because your fingers are far away from the cutting edge there. And it's not going to move much because your fingers just won't allow it basically. But uh, yeah, curio little little desk ornament add to my collection. Fifteen bucks, why not? I mean, I like I like it for the green bone alone, and that it is a lockback. I love lockbacks, and it is uh, my most unusual lockback. So I'm extremely happy to get my most unusual lockback for fifteen bucks. All right, I'll. I'll put the price up here, what I paid, because I'm thinking back three months, I may be wrong. Maybe a little more, a little less. Thanks for watching guys, catch you later. California dagger! <laughs> this one, this one's just got a rat tail running up through it. I got given the blade and I, and I made the handle myself. It's got ebony, um, maple and leather going up there there's two leather strips there a couple of more on either side it gives a good grip that was a fun fun project and uh, well speaking of California legal if you do want a California legal switchblade I got this one for the for the wife it's the stubby it's a sub two inch I got from blade ops Fast becoming my number one go-to for for blades. Uh, great little switch blade, three mil stock. Anyway, check out the video on this if you're into Boca switch blades, uh, specifically a California legal one. All right, catch you later, guys. Yeah.